Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create your own custom text widget. You may ask, why would I want to create a custom text widget? Well, let me show you an example. Would you rather have this code without custom widget? Or this one with custom widget? You see, sometimes it's better to have a custom widget if you're going to reuse it over and over again. Okay. Let's dive in into coding. Firstly, what I want to have is our custom widget to be organized and reusable. To do so, let's create a separate folder widgets inside our lib folder. And inside our widget folder, create a file neotext.dart. In the file, we need to import material design. And then create a stateless widget with the name Neo Text. Awesome! Now, since our custom Neo Text will be a better version of a text widget, we need to create a main arguments for our Neo Text widget. It will be text, size, font weight, color, word spacing, and on click function. You might have a much more parameters, it's up to you but I will go only with this for this tutorial. Great, now let's create a constructor with these arguments. And finally, let's make a text argument required, because our neo text widget cannot be used without the text. Cool, so now let's start building our custom widget. Since our Neo Text widget can also be as a text button widget inside container widget, we will first check if on click argument is set. For example, if Neo Text without setting on click void callback, then it will just be a text widget, otherwise a text button. So if on click equals to null, then we will have a text widget, otherwise a text button widget. Okay, let's start with text widget. First thing. We need to pass a text argument, then create a text style and assign parameters with our text arguments. Now, there is one thing. If you have a default style pattern and you don't want it to assign arguments over and over again, we can make our own default parameters. So, just put double question mark and type a value. Let's now copy our text widget and paste it to a text button child widget. Let's create on press void function and add our argument on click.call. Well, that's pretty much it. Now let's import this to our main Dart file and test our widget. So go to File, import our package, and use the Neo Text widget anywhere you want in your project. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.